Hi, so today we did our first trip to a holy place. We went to um, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, I'm not very good at it. Uh, I'll show you where that is on the map. So this is the map of Jerusalem that has been very kindly left in my room for me, which means that I can show you uh, exactly where we went and hopefully I'll be able to tell you um, where we go each day. So today we are um, up here, this is where uh, we're staying each time. Uh, and we came, we walked down just to here. Uh, so this is the Church of the Holy, um, I'm going to zoom in because I can't say it very well, uh, sep Sepulchre. <laughs> um, and Sepulchre basically means tomb. So the history of this place is that um, it's where Jesus was resurrected from the tomb. Um, although it's hard to say exactly is it in the right place, it really looks like it is, um, if you look at all of the different evidence. Um, and it was rediscovered in uh, 328, I think it's 328 um, AD. So it was still fairly recent. So it's it's the sort of thing I think actually people will have remembered uh, where it was because it was such a big event at the time. Um, so we went and had a look around and there's um, in there there's also a, a rock where they think the cross of Jesus was was put in as a, there's a square hole um, which might have held up the wooden cross. There's less certainty about whether that's true or not. Um, and then there's lots of different chapels. I'll show you a map because different churches or, or religious groups have control and are able to worship in different parts um, of the church. Um, and some of them have some sort of ownership, others have no ownership at all, but, but have permission to use it. Um, so we, for example, don't have any permission to use it. We can go and visit and we can look around, but we couldn't hold a service there. Um, there's, there's only a select six groups, I think it is, who, who can, can use it. Uh, so basically it was, it was discovered and um, what had happened is that Hadrian in his battles had, had come swept through and had covered it in dirt and made um, stone pathways over over the cave for their tomb um, and then um, had put up some, they, well other people had put up um, some w places to worship idols. Uh, so then Constantine came along and said no this is no good. Uh, so he had all of that stuff moved away and moved as far away as possible um, and decided to build a house of prayer over it. Uh, and the original one was made up of um, like a, a sort of a rectangular part of the church, which was a square part with two walkways that would lead you to um, the Calvary, the cross, and then behind that was a big dome, um, and in the dome was, uh, well, that covered the tomb, um, and it was very richly um, covered and, and organised, um, and unfortunately that um, got destroyed in the 1100s at some time, and then the Crusaders, let me make sure I've got my dates right, because this doesn't sound right, but uh, around then, <laughs> uh, and then the Crusaders came, um, and rebuilt it. I'll check the dates afterwards. Um, and now it is glorious. It's it's full of beautiful lamps and gold and silver everywhere and beautiful vibrant paintings. Um, there are people who are just sitting and worshipping. The Franciscans came through um, as we were there and, and sang their, their hymns of worship. Um, and it felt, it felt slightly bizarre. I didn't like going to the bit where Calvary was. It was so on it and they had huge um images of christ everywhere and um and it was a very british it was a very blonde haired blue-eyed christ with just a trickle of blood from the crown of thorns and and i was thinking that's to me <laughs> i found that quite difficult because i was thinking he was un unrecognizable on the cross and and he, he wouldn't have looked like that um and and there was an opportunity and, and most people took it to go and bow down and, and kiss the stone where the, the cross was which I understand, but I, I also found that quite hard because I was thinking, I want as little to do with this as possible. I, I don't want to be, well, you know, it's that horror of knowing that, that Jesus is on that cross for me and, and what he suffered and what he went through. And that became really real in that moment of, of seeing where it might have happened. And yeah, it was quite overwhelming thinking, this is where it happened. This is where he went through death and humiliation and everything that he faced for me. Um, so that was a very powerful moment. Um, and we visited a tomb that wasn't Jesus' tomb, but was very similar. There's two sorts of tombs from that era. Um, that's the call, because it's Shabbat, it's Friday evening. Um, from that era there. And some are shelves, like I think most of our pictures would be where you, you lay, lie your body on the shelf and you could sort of walk alongside it. 
Uh, these ones were ones where you it, they're long and they go away from you. They're hewn out of the rock. Um, so you'd be either close to the head or the feet and, and the body would be in. So it was quite um, quite something just to see what the tomb might have looked like. The, the tomb where Jesus is buried that we saw, they, they've built a, a out, it's, it's what they call living rock. So it's the natural rock, rock that was there. They've built um, sort of this square, beautiful uh, building over it. Um, and then there's a marble slab that represents the slab that Jesus might have, have lain on. Um, and and it, was, it was quite special to go in and see that too. Um, so, yeah, it's been a fantastic start, a reminder of why, of why it's worth coming to Jerusalem. Um, and the tour, we had um, uh, Rodney Ace, who, who is our course coordinator here, and he is fantastic. You can ask him any question, he knows all of the answers. So I'll, I'll put in some of the pictures and things that he shared that, that tell more about the church and, and what it looks like and, and why it looks like that, because uh, it was really interesting. Anyway, that's probably long enough. <laughs> See you soon. All different ones. It's just it's that, you see?